Now Fiverr is, I think, number two or number one best platform out there if you want to start freelancing. Now Fiverr works in a gig type format in which every account has multiple gigs. A gig is simply a page where you are showcasing what can you do for the client, the past projects you've worked on, the experiences you've had, and a description of what you can do, the deliverables, and how much will you charge for it, right? It's very simple. You simply have to go and create a free account on Fiverr. And once you do that, once you submit your verification of your ID and you submit all of your information, and the next step is for you to create gigs. Let's say that you are a documentary video editor. You can create those highly engaging long form documentary videos. What you need to do is to create a simple gig which says, I can create professional Vox style documentary videos for you, right? That will be the gig name. That is what it will be called. After that, you try to write down everything you would be doing in the description. Now description needs to be bulleted. Do not write long paragraphs and note down everything that you will be doing for the client and how much time will you take to do it. And then you create different packages, right? Now the first basic package can have the length of the video that you will edit and the effects that people can expect from it and the time it will take, right? Understand one thing, freelancing has three core components. Number one is the time that you will take to complete the project. Number two is the quality that you will deliver at the end of the project. And number three, how much you will charge for it. And the rule of thumb is you cannot have all three of them at once. You cannot have a fast delivery time and you cannot make it cheap. If you do that, then the quality will not be top notch. You can have something to be cheap and high quality, but then that will take time, right? So you can only get two of them, but you will lose out on the third one, right? That is how freelancing works. Your packages that you create in your gig should represent that, right? The deliverables, the time you will take and how much will you charge for it. The next one should have more deliverables, should have lesser time, should have more money attached with it. And the final gig package should have a lot more deliverables, lesser time, more revisions and the price along with it, which will be obviously more than the last two packages. So that is how a gig really works. There is another part where you will showcase the work that you've done. And that my friend is the most important one, right? You can have the best description. You can have the best line for your gig. You can have the best packages. It will still not work if you do not have great projects to show. The way this works is you are supposed to showcase all the work that you've done in the past for clients or for your own self projects. I have worked both as a seller and a buyer. You are selling your services. So you are a seller. You will create your gigs. There's a buyer who will be buying your services and your gigs and they will pay for it. Now as a seller, I will always look at the quality of work this person has done in the past. How much are they charging relative to the average cost that other freelancers are charging on the platform. And I will also look at the description. Are they communicating effectively? Have they mentioned everything that they will be doing in clarity? I will look at all of that and then make a decision. I can also message you. There's an option to message the freelancer on Fiverr and ask them for more information or give them a custom project, right? So that is essentially how it works. It's all about having an attractive portfolio, a in-depth description with bullet lines, and at the end, you should also define your packages effectively and well. When you do all of that, you just need to now wait. Now, all of these factors influence the search engine optimization of your gig. If anyone searches for documentary video editing, if you follow all the practices that I've just told you, your gig will have higher chances of being at the top compared to someone who has not followed these practices. That is essentially how it works. That is Fiverr SEO in short. So that is Fiverr SEO. We've learned about gigs. We've learned about the message button. And another part that most people miss out on is the buyer request. So on Fiverr, you can also submit a request as a buyer that, Hey, this is what my requirement is. And once you state your requirements for your project, people will bid underneath it. People will state their price, the time they will take to make it. And they can also mention a simple description talking about why they think they are fit for this particular project. That is a buyer request. The problem with buyer request is that as soon as anyone puts a single request, it is flooded with a ton of spam messages from a lot of freelancers, right? So for you to stand out, you really need to do something different, right? So either you just sit and wait for someone to discover you through Fiverr SEO by optimizing your gig, 
or you can also fill out these buyer requests and see if someone converts that way. My sister, when she was 12, she got her first project through buyer requests on Fiverr, right? To make a simple logo. But talking about the next segment, which is for you to create multiple gigs, right? If you create more gigs for yourself, you'll have more opportunities. So one could be about documentary video editing. One could be about wedding video editing. One could also be about vlog video editing. One could also be about particular styles of video editing. Like for example, I hired freelancers on Fiverr to create those animated reels for myself, right? The ones that you might have seen on Instagram by Dan Co and other, you know, creators. So I wanted to create those type of reels. So I just searched for that. There were very few freelancers who were making that type of reel. And so I gave them the work. They charged about 3000, 4000 rupees for every 30 second animated video. I paid for it. And you know, the person who I had the best experience with under promised and over delivered. Right. They said that it will take them five days. They gave it to me in four days. Right. And they did not have a lot of mistakes. They were clear with communicating everything with me and they delivered on time. Right. And they were not even living in India. They were living in somewhere in the Middle East. So the idea is you can get in and get opportunities if you take care of all of these tips on Fiverr. Right. That is how Fiverr works. Upwork is a similar platform, but in the case of Upwork, the buyer creates a request that, okay, this is my project and, and this is the freelancer I'm looking for. And you are paid per hour basis. So you write an hourly rate for your services and then you bid, right? So you can send a request to me saying that, Hey, I had a look at your project and this is why I think I am fit for your project. And you can check the work I've done on my profile. So on their Upwork profile, you can go and see how many hours have they worked on Upwork and how many reviews do they have the testimonials. And at the end, you can also see how good are they with communicating, right? This is one of the biggest skills being able to communicate clearly as a freelancer is very important.